speaking of Hoovers, both of them guys you mentioned, Jack Five and uh, Treyway Six K, both locked up. Yeah, uh, I know Jack Five situation is way worse. He's fighting a murder. Um, then then um, Treyway, he what what he get sentenced for? Six years. Six years, but 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 he probably he probably won't do six years. Uh, he got sentenced to six. I don't know if it was with half. Or eighty five percent, but I know he just hit the pen right now, like a few days ago. Uh, he probably do like three years, maybe. Take a program like a, a some type of school program or something, get some time knocked off. Then they let you go to the halfway house. He ain't gonna do the whole six years though. I, don't, I doubt it. Two Hoover rappers who was really putting on. They was really building up some steam. Uh, you know, I, I had a chance to interview Treyway. Smart kid. I could just tell, you know, his surroundings is what's, you know, but smart kid. And then Jack Five, I seen him doing this thing. It looks like, man, that's that situation with him is looking ugly. Have you you got any updates on that or you really Um not, not not like um I heard it was looking it wasn't looking that bad. I mean it was, you know, it was looking kind of good, but at the end of the day, I really don't know. I mean, nobody know what what them people going to um, do or what they going to try to pull. But um, hopefully he beat that shit and, and he come back up out of here. Mm. You know, Chicago, places like Chicago, Philly, St. Louis, Baltimore, New Orleans, um, places like that, people, they're more likely to get off on certain situations in murder. Uh, you know, the lack of surveillance. Uh, you know, New Orleans didn't even have a... a New Orleans didn't even have a DNA lab since Hurricane Katrina. Um, you know, so a lot in a lot of these cities, kids know they could pull certain stuff and they'll get away with it. In LA, is the chances a little bit more higher because it's so much surveillance and so much, you know, cameras and and shit like that, or not really? Of course. I mean, I mean, bro, like er first of all, everybody got cameras on their homes. So you could be sliding on somebody, bop, boop, bop, bop, boop, boop, and you ain't even know that they had a camera and they didn't caught the whole crime on this camera footage, bro. So then you got people, they, they don't even help people out here. Like they could see somebody probably getting drugged into an alley and they gonna pull out their phone and just like record it and I'm gonna help them. So yeah, a whole lot of recording going on and um, yeah, no, it's, it's bad out here, bro. Like people might get away out here, but you gonna get caught. If you ain't did this shit right or by yourself, two months, three months, a year, you're going to get caught. Because it's just they going to have to go retrace that. And a lot of these people are not smart. They don't really think. Like, I didn't watch a lot of police shows. So, like, they're going to go do a lot of retracing. They gonna, if, they don't, if it ain't no camera right here, they going down there. They're going to go down here. So, it's cameras everywhere out here. Everywhere is, like, open. But that don't mean nothing, though, bro. It's crazy because people still do shit every day and still get away.